In this video, I want to talk about uh, the Z table or the standardized normal distribution. Now, this you may be having in your books at the back side, uh, at the back of your book. Now, this table is also called a Z table. Now, what is Z? Z is uh, x minus mu. X is a random variable minus mu divided by standard deviation. Now. This looks to be a difficult formula, but what this formula is telling is Z is only telling you how far away your random variable is uh, with respect to the standard deviation. Okay, so what does it? What does that mean? Okay, so let me give you an example to illustrate what I mean. So Z Z tells you how far away or how many standard deviation. Z is, in short, is how many standard deviation. It's good if you can write this down. How many standard deviation any or a random variable, a random variable is away from mean, is away from mean. So let me give you an example from mean. Suppose if it's given, suppose uh, the weight of the weight of newly born babies, newly born babies is normally distributed. The weight of new, newly born babies is say normally distributed. Now what does that mean? Normally distributed. Distrib normally distributed means and they also give you that the mean that is mu is say uh, let me make up a number say 2.5 kg generally they talk in terms of pounds so the mu mean is 2.5 kg and the standard deviation is say 200 grams okay 200 grams so this means if it's normally distributed, it is uh, symmetrically spread out. So what does that mean? So if you draw, if you, uh, you will have a bell-shaped curve if you plot a large number of baby weight. So here what we're saying is the mean is 2.5. So mean is, uh, mean always comes in the middle. So your mu is 2.5. And your standard deviation is uh, 0.2. So this is both in cages. So you already know that if you go one standard deviation, so so now if you if you go one standard deviation to the right, okay, so that means this is a 2.7. This is 2.7 is one standard deviation to the right. And if you go again one standard deviation to the right. And this is three standard deviations. So this is something that you already know. So if you add 0.2, so this is 2.9, and this is 3.1. So we know. So now, uh, talking about this in terms of z, so here we can see. This is here you're asking to write the same thing in terms of z. So let me. Okay, I want space here. So this I call your x variable. So this is say 2.5. This is 2.5, which is your random variable x. So now to talk about talk uh, express the same thing in terms of z. So here you're asking the question: 2.5 is how many standard deviation away from 2.5? So well, 2.5 is zero standard deviation away from. Uh, 2.5. So 2.7 is how many standard deviation away from mean? So this is one standard deviation. So your z value is one here. So here 2.2 is how many standard deviation away from 2.5? So it is two standard deviation, and this is three standard deviation. So I want just want to show you how to read the table. Now we know the probability. These are called these are your random variable, and these are your z values. Now z values is nothing. But let me repeat it again. It's always good. Z tells you, the Z value tells you how many standard deviation a random variable is away from the mean. 
So here your mean is zero standard deviation away from, 2.5 is zero standard deviation away from mean, 2.7 is one standard deviation away from me, and so on. So if you want to look, read the table, now mathematicians have come up with this table, which gives you the probability. So this table, all these values, it also tells you in the top, each entry gives the probability that the standardized normal variable z lies between 0 and some value of z. So this table is always giving you this area, is always giving you the area between 0 to some value of z, always to the right, okay? And this is a symmetrical bell-shaped curve, so the probab probability to the right would be equal to the probability to the left. I'll come to that later. So we already know that the probability that uh, a random variable lies within one standard deviation is 0 0.34 per 0 0.34 or in terms of percentage, that is 34%. So how do you read that in the table? So here what you do is, I told you, this, these are your z values vertically. So here, it's always from zero. So this is 1.0. So if you, can you see this is 0.3413. So one standard deviation is 3, 0.3413, that means this is your z value and this is your probability. So we can say that the probability that a random variable is between 0 and 1 standard deviation. This is 0 and this is 1. So that is 0 0.3413. And if you remember, uh, between these two, suppose this, so let me change this color, suppose this probability, this green area is the area that a random variable lies within two, stand, uh, uh, two standard deviation. This would be this green area, so let me use a green color. So this green area uh, is between two standard deviation is 95. So this would be 0 0.4715 or 0 0.47. So how do you read this? So again, go to the table and go to two. Okay, so this is. 0.47. Okay, so this is what I'm. This is this. These values gives you the area between some zero to some value of z. Okay, so let's take an example. If this this doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's take one example. The length of a leaf of a tree is normally distributed with a mean of 14 centimeters and a standard deviation of four centimeters. 65% of the leaves are less than a certain length find this length. So the first thing I like to do is to draw a normal curve. So this is a normal curve. This you can draw, this is a normal curve. Always good to draw a normal curve. So what are the information that we have? The mean is 14. So I'll write, these are your x value. I'll write the x value here and the z value here so that you understand the relation between x and z. So x is your random variable. The mean is 14 centimeters, okay? And standard deviation is four centimeters. So let me write mu is 14 centimeters and standard deviation is four centimeters. So your z value corresponding to your x value would be zero. Just by looking at this, that means you're asking the question, z is how many standard deviation is 14 away from 14? So 14 is zero away from 14. So now the question is 65% of the uh, leaves are less than a certain length. What is this length? So I hope you understand 50% of the leaf length would be less than 14 and 50% would be more than uh, 14. Yeah. So we want to find 65%. So this is 0 0.5 and this is also 0 0.5. 65% of the length are less than a certain length. So 65, so you'll have to draw a line here because we know this is 0.5%, 0.5 or 50%, and this is 0.15. So the question is, what is this x value? What is this x value? Okay, so let me write. So this is 14. 
and you want to find your x value. So with the z value for this is 0 and we want to find what is the x value. This is your question. This is the question. What is the x value? So 65%. So this is your 65%. This area is your 65%. So the question is, we know 50% is less than 14. So this is 65%. This blue area is 65%. Okay, so 65% is 50% plus 15%, and that's why I put 0 0.15. So now we need to look at the table from area, can we find the Z? So we have to go backwards. So first what we'll do is, from the area, we're going to find the Z value first. Okay, so let me write. First step is, first step that we decide is, decide the probability. Decide the probability, that's what we did. And second thing is find Z. Now, as I told you, Z is always between some value of zero, 0 to some value of Z. So let us go back to the table. So we need to read the table backwards. We know the area we are looking for is 0 .1, 0 0.15. So this is 0, 0.1406, 14. 4314801517 so this is a probability of 0 0.1480 and this is 0 0.1517 so if you read backwards this is this area this area corresponds to 0 0.48 and this is point no sorry 0 0.38 and this is 0 0.39 so it is somewhere between point so let me write this. So Z, your 0.15. So let me write it here so that you understand how to read the table. The reading the table is very important, very, very difficult initially. So I know 0 0.15 comes between 0 0.1480 and roughly between this two. So I know it is 0. This is how you read it, 0 0.48. So this is the Z value is between 0 0.48 and, sorry, it's not 0 0.48, it's 0 point. So let me underline this so that you can see. So this is, so that I can see, read it properly. So this is 3, 0 0.38. This is, uh, this is 0 0.4. The Z value for this probability is 0 0.38. And the Z value for this probability is 0 0.39. So it is between 0 0.38, 0 and 0 0.390. So the probability would be, I'll say your Z value for 0 0.15 is 0 0.385. So the Z value is 0 0.385. So let's go back. So the Z value is corresponding for this area, which is 0 0.15, because the table is only giving you this area is 0 0.385. Okay, so now we know the formula that is Z is equal to X minus mu over sigma. So we know mu, we know sigma, we know Z, we can find X. So you have to make X the subject. So we say 0 0.385 is equal to your random variable X minus your mu, mu is 14, and the standard deviation is 4. So let's cross multiply, so 0 0.385 times 4 is equal to x minus 14. And then I have to add 14, so it is 0 0.385 times 4 plus 14 is equal to x. So let us get the calculator out. 0 0.385, so menu run, 0 0.385 times 4 plus 14, plus 14, <clears throat> that is 15.54. So your random variable x is 15.54 centimeters. So what does this mean? <coughs> Excuse me. So this means 
that your 65%, let me write the answer so that it makes sense. 15.54, it does make sense because this x value, your random variable x, is to the right of 14. So we can say 65% of the leaf weight, or sorry, of the length of the leaf is less than 15.4 centimeters. So your answer is 15.54 centimeters. Okay, so look at the next question. I'll give you a few seconds for you to do this question and I'll come back once you have done it. Hopefully you have done this question. 20% of the leaves are longer than what length? Okay, so we're continuing with the same probability. So let's write the fact that we know. We know that the mu mean is 14 centimeters and the standard deviation is 4 centimeters. So the question is, 20% of the leaves are longer than what length? So again, the same thing, it's a good idea would be to draw a normal curve to understand your bearings, to understand where you're going to put which number, because it also gives you a graphical understanding of what's happening here. So the mu, so I'll write x here, x is your random variable and z is your standardized normal variable. So your x value, your mean is 14. Okay, so let me go over. So we know 50% is less than 14 and 50% is more than 14 centimeters. 20% of the leaves are longer than what length? Okay, so 20%, so this you have to read between the lines. 20% of the leaves are longer than what length? So where would you put that 20%? So we're talking about the longer length. So I hope 20%, so this is, so I'll put here, I want to find this value. So we know we are talking about the longest leaves. Okay, so we are talking about this 20%. 20% is longer. These 20% of the leaves are longer than this x value. That's what we want to find. So we know this is 50%. This is 50%. This is 20%, so how much would be this person? Because we are interested in this area because the table is going, you're going to read the table for this area. So 20% is more than, 20% of the leaves are longer than this length. So 30% would be less than the, between mean and this X value. So this is 30%. So if this is 30% as a decimal, this is 0.3. This is 0 0.3. So now you have to look. So first you have to find what's your Z value. And from my Z value, if you know the Z value, we can find the X value. So let's go back to the table. We want to, we are looking backwards for the Z value from the area. So again, let me repeat. This area, these numbers are telling you the area. And these are your Z values. So let me find 0 0.3 so this is this is how you find so this uh, this is 0 point for point 0.8 to point point eight eight one so keep going across so this is a very good estimate point two nine nine six this corresponds to this is 0 point eight and this is four so your z value for point three so area, let me write it here, so the area we are looking for is 0 0.3, and the, this area, this is 0 0.2996, which is very close to 0 0.3, okay, so the Z value corresponding to that is 0 0.84, so you read, you take 0 0.8 from here and 4 from here. So the Z value corresponding to the probability of 0 0.3 is 0 0.84. So, so we can say your Z value is 0 0.84. So we can say this is the Z value. So you can write the Z value for this is 0 and this is 0 0.84. So now we need to use the formula of Z is X, your random variable X minus mu over sigma.
So put the z value 0 0.84 here. So 0 0.84 is equal to x minus mu. Mu is 14 divided by 4. So the same process, cross multiply. So 0 0.84 times 4 plus 14 would give you your x value. And you can make a sense. Now, this drawing is important because you should have a sense the answer should be more than 14. Okay. So, so 0 point, so let me see the numbers, is 0 0.84 times 4 plus 14, which is 17.36. So, we can say x is 17.36. So, what does this mean? that 20% of the leaves have a length longer than 17.36 centimeters. Okay, and the final question is 12% of the leaves are, 12% of the leaves are below what length? Okay, so again, you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay, so again the same method, draw the normal curve, this is your normal curve, this is your x value which is your mean, which is 14. So this is your x random variable, this is your z value which is 0. So the problem is when you have this type of question you need to understand what they're talking about. 12% of the leaves are below what length? So which area are we talking about? Are we talking to the right or to the left? Okay, so 12%, so we're talking about this area, 12% of the leaves are less than which value? So you talk, we want to find this probability. Okay, uh, now we know the, prob we want to find the x value, we, want, we know the probability, so we know the probability, we want to find the x value. So if this is, we know this is 50%, so this area is also 50%. So uh, 50 take away 12. So 50 take away 10 is 40. So this is 38%. Then take away 2 is 38%. So this is 0 0.38. Now you have to look your, uh, use your logic. Your z value would be negative. The area, suppose area to the right and left are symmetrical. So we are going to look for this area under the normal curve and then put negative because your z value is to the left of zero. Okay, so again go back to the table and look for 0 0.38. Okay, so 0 0.38 is, I would take this, you can take this value or this value. So looking for this value or it is between these two values. 0 0.38 comes between 0 0.3790 and 0 0.3810. So this is 1.75. So your z value is between 1.70 and 1. Uh, 1 po sorry, 1.17. This is 1.17 and 1.18. So it is between 1.170. 1.180, which is 1.175. So your z value, to be exact, I would take 1.175. Okay, and let's go back to the question. So your z value, remember that z value is 1.175. So z value is negative 1.175 because it is to the left of mean and mean has a z value of 0. So this z value has to be negative logically, 1.175. So again the same thing, z is equal to x, your random variable x, minus mu over sigma. So negative 1.175 is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So it is, I should have written the z, uh, mu is 14 over 4. So 
you can go minus 1.175 times 4 plus 14 gives you your x value. And logically, you should understand the x value has to be less than 14. Okay, so let me see the values. Uh, delete negative 1.175 times 4 plus 14 it gives you 9.3. So you can say x is 9.3 centimeters. So 12% of the leaves are less than 9.3 centimeters.